about server components and client components in react we have this thing called server component and client component and let's figure out the difference between both of them so i have here a basic next.js project so in this project i have this page which contain two component which is a server component and a client component so if i go to the server component it just contains simple uh reacts component which named server and it's just console logging the running in server and if i go to client component it just returns this d with client and it's just a client component and i have this use client at the top to make it a client component so if i run this i close it i'll run it again so i'll say npm run dev then you can see that if i go out here and i can refresh this page it says that running in server and running in client right because i have this page directly which contain both server and client component and we are console logging running in server and running in client and if i go to my browser and console log here you can see that it says running in client so client side component is running in client which basically means our browser and in server you can see here the server component is running so it's saying running in server and obviously client component uh, if the initial render is done in the server and we also run it in the client and that's why we are also seeing running in client here as well but what server component basically means is the component that run in a server and what client component basically means is component that is initially rendered in the server but it gets executed in the client as well so here we are getting initially render in the server that's, that is why we are seeing running in the client but also we are running it in our browser as well and that's why we see the console log here as well because it is a client component and it, it gets executed in the client so let's talk about benefit of the server component and why next just choose the server component first as you can see here everything inside app directory is by default a server component and the reason for that is because next just choose to have a server first approach and the reason that they do that is because they can improve the performance and first time to interaction and initial page load as well so let me explain it to you so by default we are sending uh, all of these client bundle to our browser for them to execute right so what server first approach helps us with is that uh, we have this component we want to render it in a server because server is always more powerful than client and because of that reason every code or every component get rendered in a server which means that we have to send very few code to the browser for it to execute so this is a client component which means that all of this code will be bundled into the javascript and it will be passed to this client or a browser and browser will execute that so if we make everything a client component then the bundle size will be really huge and browser has to download all the javascript and execute them which will make the performance low and which will make the initial load time of our website to be very low very high sorry so the load time of our page will increase right and we don't want that we want instant load of the page and we want high performance and since server component run in a server which is more powerful it is in it automatically increase the performance and that's why it is a server first approach so everything in the app directory is by default a server component so we have the server component which is running in server and uh, let me tell you another thing about server component server component is basically this non-interactive html right so if you want to make a component interactive then you have to make it a client component let me tell you what else we can do in a server component we can fetch data right here we can uh, make a request to database or query database make database query right here like you can just say db dot user dot find by id and we can provide the id here right id something and we can just get the data directly here and that was something that we could not do in client component because client component run in a client so that it cannot face the data uh, database and get all this data from the database or from the server directly but in server component since it runs in the server we can make database query directly here and this is much more efficient because server can run this query more faster than the client and server can execute it and we are just writing everything in our own component which makes it even more better and, uh, and more readable and everything so that's why server component is really special because we can make all of this database query we can uh, get the data from server we can use this complete power of an effective server so that we can emphasize our and emphasize and improve our performance of our website now let's talk about client component so if everything is a server component right by default this is a server component now and you can see here if i refresh this page if i go here and if i see console log i don't see anything right because i have removed the use client from the top which means that now by default it is a server component 
So if everything is a software component and, and a server component is so good, then why we still need client component, right? So as I said before, server component is this non-interactive component. But if you want any kind of interaction, then you have to use a client component. Let me show you. In this div, I'll create a button, right? And the button will say, click me. Now it is still a server component because we haven't used use client at the top. And you can see it's uh, running in server, running in client. And if I go out here, refresh this and go out to my console, I still don't see anything because it is still running in the server. Now, since this is a server component and we want interactivity here, so let's say I want to say on click, I want to console log, console log, hi, right. Now you can see I get an error. It says that event handlers cannot be passed to client component props. If you need interactivity, consider con converting this part, uh, converting part of this to a client component, which basically is telling us that if you want any kind of interactivity, you have to make it a client component. So for that, to handle this error, I have to again convert this to a client component here. Say use client, save it. And now it will work perfectly fine. So if I refresh this, I get this click me button and I, you can see the pointer is changing as well. So if I go out here and see console log, you can see that it is running in the client. So if you want the interactivity in your website, then you have to make it a client component. So here in this button, we are using this event listener called uh, on click. So if you are using any kind of event listener for any kind of interactivity, you have to make it a client component. Now, another case of using a client component is if you are using like use state right and let's say i remove this use client as well here for now to make it a server component and i'll just remove this button as well and i'll just say client and i save this i again give this error and it just says that use state is not defined okay so that's a different error i'll just say use state and define it import it here and save it now you can see that it again give me the error it says that you are importing a component that need use state it only work in client component right and that is because use state also need a client component is same with use effect or any other state life cycle so if we are using any state or like uh, state life cycle like use effect use layout effect or whatever for any kind of hook right that use the state then we have to make it a client component like this use client and that's the thing so this code will be bundled into a javascript and we are sending this javascript to the browser and the browser is executing it so if you want any kind of interactivity you have to make it a client component but a website mostly causes a contain a lot of component which are not interactive right and that's why server component is the default component and server component run in the server and it is a non-interactive component so if you see the documentation here it just says that a page contain navbar sidebar search like search needs interactivity right you might have to say on click or on change it contain event listener so you have to make this search and find component but this whole navbar this sidebar all of this can be a server component except for this button so uh, according, to, according to the documentation it says that you should always move this client component to the leaf so you should try to make everything a server component as possible and you can you should make this small client component that you that you can send the javascript to the browser right so try to make as much a server component as you want and try to put this client component at the leaf of your pro, uh, of your root uh, of your layout so that you send minimum javascript as minimal javascript as you can so that the browser can download less javascript and execute less javascript which makes your website really fast so that's server component and client component in react and xjs